The question I'd like to talk to you about now is um, taken from the P6 exam, which is all about radioactive materials. Um, this is the first part of the question, and it's just it's kind of explaining what the question is going to be about. Um, and it says, Amy reads that low sodium salt contains a source of ionising radiation. She measures the amount of radiation coming from a sample of low sodium salt for one minute, and she does this three times. And you can see her equipment here that she used, and you can um, also see the results that she achieved. This is the second part of the question, and this is the bit where they're actually asking you to do something. And it says, Amy's friend Billy carries out the same experiment. Their results are shown in the graph below. And so you can see Amy's three results there plotted, and then you can also see Billy's results plotted. And it says, Amy thinks she must have had a different batch of salt from Billy. Is she correct? Justify your answer. So you need to look at this data, and you need to decide whether the two batches are different. Um, and this particular question is out of two marks. So when you see a question like this, the key thing that you should notice is this word here, different. Um, in science, this actually has quite a specific thing it's talking about. It's actually talking about a real difference. And there's two ways that we tell a real difference, and that's why the mark is out of two. Um, the first thing you need to look at to decide whether there's a real difference is you need to look at the mean or the average of the data. And you need to see if the mean or the averages of the data are very, very different. So the average or mean of Amy's results is 61. So that's about here. Can't draw it very well. And the mean or average of Billy's results is 86, which is up here somewhere. There we go. And so you can see from this um, two sets of data that the means are very, very different. So that's the first mark. The means are different. Now, the second thing you need to look at when talking about a real difference is you need to look at the ranges. And in particular, you need to look to see whether or not they overlap. So Amy's results, the range goes from 63 down to 58. And um, for Billy's results, the range goes from 106 down to 86. So you can clearly see um, that these ranges do not overlap at all. The, uh, the range bars are not crossing in any way. So when you're answering this question, you need to look at two things. You need to state that the means are very, very different. And then you also need to state that the ranges do not overlap. And that must mean that Amy has a different batch of salt from Billy. Made with DoodleCast Pro.